Yeah, so uh, I'll speak on uh, uh, bafflement or the universal uh, right to baffle. So the term uh, that, uh, that I'm presenting uh, is not uh, a part of the usual commons vocabulary as uh, Zdenka and Bojana proposed at the beginning is also this kind of reclaiming uh, the term again. So it does not stand for a function or feature but for an act. And I would like to speak about the state of bafflement and the gesture that is baffling. Uh, to clarify also in language, because uh, we all have to speak this language of all the colonizers, English, so I don't speak about uh, bluffing, I speak about uh, baffling, which means to perplex, to confuse, to puzzle, to make someone uh, scratch their head. So it's not bluffing that is um, safely incorporated in business logic of today, but baffling, which as you will see it later, uh, it uh, actually serves as a kind of uh, immaterial barricade vis-a-vis -vis the logic of power. To baffle in this interpretation signifies certain right of disprivileged, powerless and deprived in, in confronting the violence of power. To baffle is not a part of tragedy or comedy of the commons, and we all know these texts, the tragedy or the comedy of the commons that are, that are usually uh, connected to the notion of the commons, to, it, uh, to its kind of very uh, basic notion as it is uh, discussed in our contemporaneity. Um, it is neither resource nor strategy. It is the right no one can undo or deny. It is to make the attempt to dramatically change the existing set of circumstances, to try to unilaterally change the paradigm itself. The paradigm, of course, being imposed by the forces of power. The notion of political baffling uh, was one of the uh, outcomes of the research project and the publication called All On Neutrality that they recently wrote together with uh, uh, two uh, colleagues and theorists and friends, Rachel O'Reilly and Vladimir Jeric Vlidi, examining the concepts of political peace and active neutrality in the gestures of the non-aligned movement you have. Uh, some information uh, on online movement, uh, on this uh, uh, glossary, but also, you know, like uh, on Wiki and everywhere, and also in more serious uh, theoretical uh, uh, and other uh, publications. So I don't want to uh, explain um, and give some uh, the detailed historical analysis, but uh, actually it is uh, definitely one of the biggest uh, uh, decolonizing uh, political uh, projects uh, of the 20th century and perhaps until today. So, such politics, the politics of non-aligned movement, opposing both the Euro-Atlantic juridical management of neutralism and the Western ideology of peace, and at the same time introducing something new and unexpected, uncommon, can be summarized in Edward Cardell's thesis of non-aligned third position in his historical roots of non-alignment, where the twofold negation of power blocks does not imply reaching the point of ideal equidistance from the existing centers of power, but countering the power politics as such. So the, uh, uh, the option of small, of powerless, is not the ideal equidistance, but countering the power politics. So it's not the balance between the forces, but countering the forces as such. So uh, I will uh, uh, I will also go uh, like a more uh, more deep in a, a kind of uh, 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 allegorical uh, uh, in, a, in in a text which uh, will give us uh, some texture or uh, some kind of a plastic example or uh, about what do I mean when I say bafflement, but also uh, is a plastic example of. Uh, um, 
uh, the possible position of uh, non-aligned, and it, uh, it, is, it is the tech that's been uh, exploited uh, very much uh, um, in recent uh, times. It is uh, from Thucydides' Chronicles of the Peloponnesian uh, War, actually the war between the state uh, of Athens and Sparta, uh, 416-15 BC, uh, where the Athenians confront the island peoples of uh, Melos, who are historically closer to Sparta, but who want to stay independent. Nevertheless, Athenians plundered their territory, took up a position of open hostility to being involved in the conflict. So this dialogue uh, in uh, also a uh, uh, book that's uh, in the process of uh, publishing uh, currently, the, the book uh, called On Neutrality that I wrote together with Rachel O'Reilly and Vladimir Yaric Lidi. Uh, in this uh, uh, book we, uh, we see this dialogue as the first documented instance of the historical debate in which neutrality as such is claimed as viable but defeated oppositional politics of non-violence for a small state to take on. Instead of being used and misused, as it was the case with the most global media since the late 2010s, to either speculate on the contemporary Greek agony versus its creditors and speculators, or to fuel the US military industry and internal external power politics, or to infotain the world while the financialization tightened their global grip. In the Thucydides Chronicles of the Peloponnesian War, we find the allegorical prefiguration of non-aligned movement position. That is, the positioning of a movement within the logic of active neutrality towards the power politics of USSR and USA. And now if we go through the text, which is already abbreviated, uh, and, uh, I, uh, uh, but uh, I, I wanted just to uh, go through some sentences together with you in order to, uh, to, 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 to make uh, more material and more palpable this uh, very texture of baffling or the process of baffling. So uh, millions, this uh, small, powerless say, it is natural and excusable for men in our position, we can say for women in our position, to turn more ways than one, both in thought and in utterance, so like to be not really precise, maybe uh, uh, not be really decisive according to the logic of power. Then Athenians say, we hope you don't, uh, you don't say that you, do, uh, that, uh, that you have done us no wrong and uh, know as well as we do that right uh, is only in question between equals in power, while the strong do what they can and the weak suffer what they must, then millions. You ask us to ignore what is right and talk only of interest, but our common protection is privilege of being allowed when in danger to invoke what is fair and what is right, and even to profit by arguments not strictly valid if they can be argued well, so they are for a kind of argumentation, Athenians. We came here in the interest of our empire and the preservation of your country, because they say, submit us and uh, we will not exterminate you. So, sub submit to the power. Then, Melians, how could it be as good for us to serve as it is for you to rule? logical questions, but not very much logical in the logic of power. And then they also continue. So you would not consent to our being neutral, friends instead of enemies, but allies of neither side. So they want to stay friends, but also independent, Athenians. If you maintain uh, 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 if any maintain uh, their independence, it is because they are strong. So only the strong can be uh, independent. Uh, the fact that you are uh, Islanders and weaker than others renders it uh, all the more important that you should not succeed in baffling the masters of the sea. So they should not succeed actually in baffling the masters of the sea by 
uh, opposing, uh, uh, the, by actually questioning the, the logic of power. So uh, this is where the very notion of, of, of bafflement is uh, mentioned directly. Me millions. We are surely uh, base and cowardly if we are still free and we don't try everything that can be tried. To submit is to give ourselves over to despair. Actions still preserve for us a hope that we may stand direct. And then they say, we are aware, as you are, of the difficulty of the uh, contending again against your power and fortune, but we trust that gods may grant us fortune as good as yours, since we are just men fighting against unjust. Our confidence is therefore not so utterly irrational. So for uh, our examination in the book that I, that, 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 that I mentioned, we were less interested in the uh, uh, reanalyzing the confrontation between the ground forces and their moves or in the morality of the pursuit of war or otherwise of those who consider themselves confronted with or compelled by the power. Instead, we were paying uh, attention to the political logic of the supposedly non-pragmatist and irrational, uh, under the quote mark, malian response to the historical expectation of their submission. The Athenians persist with a purely economical and cynical interpretation of the small or disempowered state's collective leaning announcement that it already has political value, logic, and genuine agential politics on its own side. Here, we see the powerful still interpret a sort of non-aligned position as irrational, simple, pre-political, despite the clear and logical achievement of non-aligned statement otherwise. So borrowing from Athenians' uh, own uh, uh, wording, we call this tactic and response as bafflement uh, uh, and also connected to the reception of non-aligned pos movement positions and other non-aligned positions, which uh, historically repeats in the reactions of large powers over and over again, regardless of how irrational, patient, or logical the position of non-alignment is argued. Power politics excludes the powerless, placing them below the threshold of waging any consequential politics, beyond the possibility of participation in the world affairs as serious political partners. It denies their capacity to think and act towards the production of commonality. It neglects them as a political subject. It infantilizes their attempts to self-position and self-determinate. So the gesture of political baffling is performative way to state. We are small, but we have politics. It is often connected with the most dramatic situations which are structured around the issues of war and peace, life and death, survival or annihilation. Political baffling often includes risk, but the risk which is not a calculation within the parameters of the known that could be potentially beneficial or profitable. Importantly, to baffle is not to bluff. It's rather a total risk, which is often the only and the common ticket of the disprivileged to participate in politics. The risk is usually contained in the possibility of invoking the new paradigm too soon. To baffle is a political, material, and singular gesture, has consequences, exists in the form of act. The history of bafflement outlines no clear theory of bafflement or, or of baffling, as no two bafflements are the same. Bafflement is the last instance of a certain constellation, situation, relation. Sometimes it can be the first instance of the new one. And here I also show the, 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 the slide of the demonstration of people of Belgrade on March 27 in 1941, just prior to the bombing of Belgrade with the slogan saying, 
better word than pact, better grave than a slave, uh, which was also a reaction of those powerless, in the concrete case of the people uh, and uh, people of Belgrade and the, and the Communist Party to the uh, uh, actually pact which is drawn between the, 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 the government of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and Hitler uh, to allow the German forces to pass through the, through the countries. But they say no, you know, better grave than a slave, which is quite baffling uh, act in the logic of power. Why not to save your own lives? Why to go for, you know, like uh, annihilation and, and extermination? Because it is, uh, the logic of power is always very much uh, uh, pragmatic. Or, uh, non the, 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 uh, um, the statement uh, uh, of non-aligned countries in the Constitutional Conference of Non-Aligned Movement in Belgrade in 1961. You can also read it for yourself. But such uh, demands uh, by uh, a non-aligned movement uh, uh, reflects into the propositional form of uh, the battling ambitions exp uh, expressed in the founding conference of non-aligned movement in 61 in Belgrade, which really amazed the world for uh, merely daring to imagine turning the, wor the world upside down immediately and with no further questioning of yet to be elaborated the, uh, the new principles of the new of the new uh, world. Or, uh, in example, the, in, in the other phase of uh, an online movement, later in 76, uh, I speak about Colombo conference in Sri Lanka. These were their demands, which are maybe uh, even more uh, uh, close to contemporary uh, situa uh, situation and uh, uh, total financialization of the capital and uh, the, 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 the politics uh, uh, where uh, some countries were trying uh, for uh, years to send the message that if there is uh, not substantial change in global economical, especially financial system, they will resort to a measure of unilateral moratorium on debt. Or in other words, if system does not change into the more equal system according to the demands of everybody involved, they will uh, effectively dismiss the system. And it was sixth part of the world at the moment. So, you know, like there was this moment of, also of a, a little like a power of the powerless in the moment, okay, the uh, circumstances were very uh, complex also including Harry Kissinger who uh, really lobbied against the, uh, at the moment really potential realization of turning the world financially in a way uh, upside, upside down and we were discussing uh, this aspect in our, in our book uh, uh, as well. So to, uh, to summarize uh, again, the gestures of political uh, baffling can be observed as the common strategy, resource or right of the disprivileged, powerless and de deprived in confronting the violent expressions of power politics of the powerful political blocs that are subjecting them to their internal conflicts and territorial interests, as, you know, like this little charge. The, gestures, uh, the gesture of political baffling is performative way to state, we are small, but we have politics. The power politics excludes the powerless placing them below the threshold of waging any serious consequential politics beyond the possibility of participation in the world affairs as serious political partners. It denies their capacity to think and act towards the production of commonality. It neglects them as the political subject, infantilizes their attempts to self-position and self-determinate. And the political baffling, therefore, is often connected with the most dramatic situations. Uh, which are structured around the issues of war and peace, life and death, survival and annihilation. Power politics is colonizing force, controls and distributes world res resources, sets the canons 
as we say in our history, or the rules for political negotiation, implements the laws that keep the justice on the side of power, appropriates surplus value, etc. But also it is a, a, entangled by and wrapped into its own logic and is absolutely confident about the operationality of this same logic. And therefore the gestures which are inverting and fundamentally negating this very logic, whatever the price is or whatever the consequences are, produce utter confusion and amazement among the representatives of the powerful of the powerful. They cannot believe in what they hear, see. They are politically baffled. So in this tiny, uh, we can say, moment, the logic of power is uh, suspended, is collapsed, which is why uh, I also uh, speak uh, about, about uh, bafflement, uh, proposing new, uh, uh, word, but also trying to kind of fill it with certain meaning. There are, there are some more things that I could uh, say and discuss, but maybe uh, uh, because time is short, this is perhaps uh, already clear.